ECG machine. So, before explaining how to use ECG machine, let us understand what is ECG. Monitoring of electrical activity of heart is called ECG, that is, electrocardiogram. Types of leads. There are two types of leads, bipolar and unipolar. In bipolar leads, potential difference measured between two electrodes is recorded with respect to the reference point. So, you all can see here there is a right arm, left arm, right leg and left leg mentioning this piece. So, okay. This is right arm, left arm, right leg and left leg. Here, reference point is taken as right leg. Read one. Right arm and left arm with respect to right leg. Read two. Right arm and left leg with respect to right leg. Read three. Left arm and left leg with respect to right leg. Unipolar leads are further classified into two types limb leads and chest leads. In unipolar limb leads, two limbs are tied together with respect to the third limb. Area Right arm with respect to the left arm and left leg are tied together. Area Left arm with respect to the right arm and left leg are tied together. Area Left leg with respect to the right arm and left arm are tied together. In unipolar chest state, potential of heart action is recorded on chest at six different positions. So you can see that V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6 pitch. V1, four in the postal space to the right of sternum mass. V2, four in the postal space to the left of sternum mass. V3, between V2 and V4. V4, fifth in the postal space to the mid cavicular line. V5, same level as V4 but on the anteriorly axillary line. V6, same level as V4 but on the mid axillary line. about ECG paper. This is the ECG paper which is also called as thermal paper which converts heat into the color form. Now you can see the small representation of ECG paper where X axis shows you the time, Y axis shows you the amplitude. It starts with 1 millivolt of pulse calibration. The biggest, now you can see the big block and 25 small blocks in it. One, the small block is of 1 mm into 1 mm where 0.4 milliseconds is the time and 1 millivolt is the amplitude. The biggest block is of 0.2 seconds that is 200 milliseconds and 0.5 amplitude. So friends, now here we can... This is the ECG machine. Now here we can see this is the power button. This is the gain button, this is the monitor screen button and this is the parameters where we can change the parameters of the monitor. This is the ECG paper rule where ECG is printed.
Science, I am Krishna Shukla. As we have discussed many things about the ECG machine, so I am here to tell you about the, how the ECG waveform takes place in the machine. So, let me tell you, by taking a picture at this human heart, we can discuss that. As you can see, this is human heart. So, in this human heart, there is a dark area which is known to be a SA node, which is a sinoatrial node. Which, which generated an impulse throughout the atrium which atrium, this atrium also passes through the AV node which is an anteroventricular node so due to this atrial contraction takes place because of this ACG waveform is formed so I guess you have understood about let me take you to the ACG waveform the SA node generated impulse this impulse flows throughout the atrium region because of this, atrial contraction takes place. As you can see in this diagram, this P indicates the contraction of the atrium. If you move further, this QRS, the QRS waveform indicates the contraction of the ventricular. So as we move from S to T, this indicates the uh, relaxation of the ventricular, which is known to be ventricular relaxation. Uh, but in this diagram, we can't show the atrium relaxation because of the complex because of the complex structure of the QRS that's the reason behind it we can't show it so if we, if we see the time here, uh, it requires 0.1 for the atrium contraction in the case of ventricular contraction it takes 0.3 seconds and in the case of uh, ventricular relaxation it requires 0.4 seconds already calculated that is 59 beats per minute so 59 beats per minute how we will calculate this by manually so that will be here is one box there are many boxes are present so uh, some large and some small boxes so the large box is of 5 ml by 5 and this small box is of 1 ml by 1. So, we require uh, for uh, measuring the heart rate of 1 second, we require 5 large boxes. So, how many boxes are required for calculating 60 seconds heart rate? That is heart rate per minute. That is nothing but 8 to 5, which is a 300. So there are total 300 boxes. So 300 total large boxes divided by n factor. So what is this n factor? This n factor is nothing but the interval between two R boxes. The how many boxes are present between these that are being calculated over here? If suppose five boxes are present, then I will take value five. So the 300 divided by five that is nothing but 60 beats per minute. So here. You can see that between these there are around 5 boxes so 300 divided by 5 that is 60 beats per minute we will calculate as a theoretical value and practically is 59.59 59 beats per minute. Bradycardia. If the heart rate is less than 60, then that will be the practicardia. 
it it shows that it is a high bp or low bp but it does not show in which reason you have a problem like where you have a problem in atrial contraction or ventricular contraction or you have a problem in relaxation so that will be shown by the ecg machine only so because of that we are uh, that we used ecg machine hope you have understood about the ecg machine please like share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you <laughs>